Understanding ePlans Welcome to the Eclipse Instructional Video Series. In this video, we're going to cover ePlans, including showing you how to review requested revisions and submit updated documents. ePlans are the digital copies of building plans, such as structural drawings, that are submitted as part of the permit application process. When completing a permit application, you will be asked to upload your ePlans on the Documents to Attach page. Remember all ePlans must be submitted in PDF format. And if you use the standard sheet naming convention, all sheets within the file will auto-sort based on name. Visit phila.gov forward slash li for more information on the sheet naming convention. Once your permit application, including ePlans, has been submitted, city staff will review your documents and provide comments or ask for corrections. These corrections must be addressed to complete your permit or application. The status of your permit application is shown on your Eclipse account homepage. Visit the Eclipse login page to access your Eclipse account. If you do not have an account, you can start the process under the register heading. Check out the creating an account in Eclipse video at phila.gov forward slash li. Let's log in. Enter the email address and password associated with your account and select sign in. To check where your permit is in the review process, select your permit from the My Activities tab. Once in your permit profile, select the Reviews tab. From here, you can see the review status of your submitted documents and whether any corrections or comments have been applied to any documents. Corrections require revisions to be submitted and must be addressed before the current review may be accepted. Comments are markups added to the ePlan that must be incorporated into the final construction. When all are completed, and if your submitted ePlans have corrections that require revision, the permit status will appear as Applicant Revisions. Click the Additional Information Required link to review outcome of all reviews, along with each correction, requested by the reviewers. The first section, titled Review Status, lists all completed reviews and indicates whether there were any corrections or comments. A list of all corrections that need to be fixed is collected under the Corrections Required title. Later on, you can use the checkboxes in this section to keep track of updates as you make them. The third section is Uploaded Documents. Look for the download icon in the column on the right. It indicates that you need to review revision requests on this document, revise it and then resubmit it. Click the download icon next to each ePlan document to view a PDF of your submission that includes all comments made by the reviewers. Corrections and comments made to an ePlan document are visible in the form of a standard PDF comment and require a PDF reader for review. Each comment will contain basic information about the review under which the comment or correction was made. Including the date of the review, the reviewer's name, and text, describing the issue found by the reviewer. Read each comment carefully. All requested corrections must be made to the plan before resubmission. So once you've reviewed your required corrections, made the changes, and are ready to resubmit, navigate back to the revisions required page. First, indicate that you have addressed each of the required corrections by checking the boxes. Then, upload the revised versions of all files. You can upload new versions by selecting the document to be revised, clicking Upload New Version, choosing the updated document to upload, and clicking Open. Ensure the file is added with a version label. If needed, you can leave comments for the reviewers by using the Comments or Additional Comments fields. If you upload a file by accident, select the document and click the trash can icon in the upper right-hand corner. When you are done, click Submit to send the application back to the reviewers. Your permit application status will now be in review. All reviews that had previously required more information will be restarted in Eclipse. Thanks for watching. Check out our other Eclipse videos, FAQs, and resources 
at phila.gov forward slash li.